How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on? What's going on, people? It's the day of another day of another day that we call Friday. And it is that what's going on, people? Somebody's doing everything as far as being spending life and gonna have a great weekend you know as far as this weekend that we're going to and stuff and you know just be safe and stuff so i come to you with some news in reference to you know the glad awards and stuff you know about the gay and lesbians allowance and stuff like that now there was a woman that was there who sister who was trans her name was alexis and she passed away at the age of 37 um no 47 years old and the thing about it was that if i'm right correct on that I forget, but anyway, her sister Patricia and stuff was at the Glad, and she was talking about it too, you know, about trans visibility and what the trans people go through as far as living in their truth. Now, I want to share this video with you, um, as much as possible, I want you to just really listen to what she's actually saying and stuff, and I think it's really important that you get a, you kind of get people who are not trans that's supporting, you know, trans kids, trans people, gender fluid, not conforming, you know, people that are just want you to live a healthy life and they kind of don't, don't want the trans people as far as, you know, go through so much of the negativity that we as a society can dish out. Now I want to share this video with you. Check out. Patricia Arquette blasts Attorney General Jeff Sessions for ignoring trans deaths in a powerful speech. Now, Patricia has put Attorney General Jeff Sessions on blast for indifference towards a Democratic member as the Congress who asked for a federal hate crimes investigation into the killing of tra trans women of color. Now, Patricia made the comments in the past Saturday at the 2017 GLAD Media Award in Los Angeles, where she received a GLAD um, Vanguard Award for her support for the LGBT community. Now, Patricia lost her trans sister, fellow actress Alexis Arquette, um, last year. This year, we have already seen eight trans women of color viciously murdered. Um, some of them misgendered, she told the crowd two weeks ago. Members of Congress asked a general, Attorney General, um, Jeff Sessions on, you know, um, and the Department of Justice to launch a federal heat crime investigation into the murders. The response for session has been silenced. We're now, well now the LGBT people and allies don't do silence. Can you hear just sessions? She said, and um, she said, we don't need a, you don't have to be a family member as far as, you know, being in trans or a gay friend or questioning kids. In effect, it doesn't matter what color, of gender, faith you are. We are so marginalized groups are under attack. We don't do silence when we are um, this vulnerable and we are, you know, vulnerable. Now, Patricia dedicate the rest of the speech to discussing her sister, um, Alexis, who died in September to, um, September at the age of 47 years old. Now, Alexis came under trans since 2006. Patricia tells us the movie industry and its core said, um, Arquette, however, marks were made in the um, life of activists who always, you know, paved the light on Alexis' bravery. She didn't knock on, knock on doors of, of progress. She kicked the doors open. Now I'm going to show you the video of reference to this speech as far as, you know, Patricia giving this speech about GLAD and the trans murders. Check this out. I also want to thank Sarah Kate Ellis and GLAD for honoring me with the Vanguard Award. Because the work that GLAD has done has been critical in advancing LGBTQ acceptance worldwide, helping LGBTQ kids see that they belong and that they're loved. And that there is nothing wrong with them. <laughs> visibility matters. And right now, trans visibility really matters. It is not an easy life to be a trans person in the United States of America today. My sister Alexis challenged the movie industry at its core. 
She had a very successful career as an actor and she knew she was risking losing work and her livelihood by living her truth. That she would lose parts by living her life as a trans woman, but she risked everything. She risked it all because she knew she couldn't live a life that was a lie. So whatever mark I have made in this life and activism will always pale in the light of Alexis's bravery and the light of the bravery of every trans kid growing up in America. <laughs> Alexis did not lock, knock on the door of progress. She kicked the door open. She wanted to help move the world forward to a time in the future where every trans kid could live up to their full potential. When it wouldn't be uncommon to have in your everyday life a doctor or a nurse or a cop or a real estate agent or a public official who was a transgender person, that they would get jobs, they would get hired, they would get a shot. She wanted to help move the world forward to a time when trans people were not fetishized, but to a better tomorrow when they could be seen as complete, whole, and equal human beings. to a time where every trans kid could dream and they could realize their dreams and achieve success and prosperity. But that is not what is happening. In Texas right now, lawmakers are trying to pass SB6, just one of many bills around the country that wouldn't serve no purpose but to harm trans people, especially students. This year, we have already seen eight trans women of color viciously murdered, some of them misgendered. Two weeks ago, members of Congress asked Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the Department of Justice to launch a federal hate crimes investigation into the murders. And the response from Sessions? Silence. Well, we, the LGBTQ people and allies, don't do silence. That's right, so we're going to raise our voices, all of our voices together. Can you hear us? Jeff Sessions, you don't need to have a trans family member or a gay friend or a questioning kid for this to affect you. It doesn't matter what color or gender or faith you are. There's so many marginalized groups right now under attack. When one of us is vulnerable, all of us are vulnerable. And I feel like it's my mission or our mission to provide strength and support for all of our communities. And I hope that tonight you'll take one minute to think about what you can do to make a difference, whether it's calling your Congress people. That's right, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's right. We will not be erased from your census. So call your Congress people. March in protest, post on social media, or donate to GLAD. It's also my hope to bring the attention to discrimination and deep poverty most of our trans brothers and sisters struggle with daily. Trans women of color are the most likely group to live in deep poverty of any group. So I would like to ask businesses to make concerted efforts to train and hire our trans brothers and sisters so that they can have the same dignity and rights to work as any other citizen. And while we're at it, let's make sure all businesses are providing them free pay and pay to everyone. A paycheck should not be impacted negatively by anyone's gender, gender identity, race, ability, age, religion, national origin, for that matter, everyone deserves to be paid fairly. Agreed? Are we on board? All right, I know that there are people out there who say, you know what, you're an actor. You should really only speak <laughs> when you're saying lines that have been written for you in a movie or a show. Well, it's yes, I am an actor. I'm also a taxpayer. <laughs> I'm also a sister and I'm an American and I have something in common with every single person in this room, everybody watching, all the politicians in Washington, and even a guy 
was living and golfing somewhere near the White House. We are all human. So let's allow our humanity to lead us towards respect, tolerance, towards faith in each other rather than fear of each other and ultimately towards acceptance. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, Patricia, you know, for you being a voice in the community and stuff, you know, as far as trying to, you know, be fair with the world, you know, and with the world we live in today, we already know it's very much not fair. And she was talking in reference to jobs and stuff that they should have equal pay, you know, not discrimination and stuff, you know. I feel as though it's important matches out there. Now, as far as people listening, that'll be another story. Because we live in a world where people like to judge, but they don't want to be judged. We live in a world where people like to get their opinion, but just don't want their opinion put on them, uh, push your opinion on them. We live in a world where people feel as though it's right to attack another person, but they don't want to be attacked. We live in a world where people don't mind that they attack someone's child, but just don't attack their child. You know, I thought it was a very positive message as far as what she was trying to do as far as glad and stuff. You know, and she lost, we, she lost her sister Alexa and stuff. She was saying her truth. And, you know, she fought back in reference to a lot of discrimination and stuff. And she was basically saying, you know, this place to get to know people and live and let live. And, you know, if you give a person a chance, you never know the kind of person you could actually meet a really good friend. Sometimes you give, you mess up the opportunity as far as meeting someone really nice because you're being very biased and very, very mean or information that you're not very sure about or what you think is about. Sometimes it's very easy to just give your person a chance and get to really know that person before you judge them. Anyway, that being said, I just want to share this thing with you as far as, you know, the weekend that's coming up, you know, as far as Friday. And you know, my sisters like me, you know, I want you to be safe. In fact, I want all of you to be safe, you know, you know, always got to represent the family and stuff. And, you know, I love you, of course, because you rock with me and stuff like you clearly hang with me because you're not that perfect. But, you know, you still work with me through my flaws and stuff like that because clearly, you know, I do my best. Anyway, with that being said, I would love to hear your pain on this. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Guess the rain.